Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I made some changes here a little bit in the uh, man cave, still working on getting everything squared away. But basically, we're going to be working off two TVs to get all of our NFL action because Direct TV has kind of changed. Uh, excuse me, not Direct TV. No, oh, staying away from Direct TV. Um, um, because uh, YouTube TV has changed up what they're doing uh, with the quad box and stuff and the different angles and things. I've got myself just two TVs down here. I've got a 70-inch one for the main game, and then I have a 60-inch over here for um, basically a quad box, and it's literally only about six feet away, so should be able to actually keep up with the games even better uh, than having the four TVs across here. So be that as it may, you know, this is a big time problems here, of course. Anyway, <clears throat> we have some more news on, um, the Dak Prescott contract situation. Um, I know people are getting sick and tired of it. And I know we all wish that we could just get this thing done and over with. So that way we can, um, move on to other things. But here we have, um, Per Stephen Jones, Stephen Jones was asked if a deal can get done before Sunday. And Stephen Jones's take was, yeah, I hope it's a possibility. We continue to have productive visits and talks and we'll continue to work. Um, so there's that. Now, here's here's some other food for thought which was Dak Prescott, of course, played on the franchise tag in 2020 where they literally went down to the wire. It was like if they had 30 minutes longer, they probably wouldn't have been on the franchise tag, but the clock literally ran out. The good thing about this um, is the fact that uh, there is no deadline really until March because and even March isn't really a deadline because you could still sign them after that. Um, so it could be that they don't get it done before the first game and maybe Dak goes out and has a great game and they say, let's hurry up and sign his ass. Um, but Tony Romo ended up getting his extension in late October. So we'll see how it all works out, see if it ends up happening or see if it gets done at all. Um, so that's where we are with that. Now, other news, too, some bad news, of course, for Cleveland. Uh, there was some hope earlier part of the week when Jed Willis uh, Jr. Uh, got back to practice on Wednesday. And basically, with the uh, knee injury that he had, you know, he's like, look, we're just getting back to work. It's not going to be uh, probably any chance that he's going to play. Well, he said he wouldn't start. Um, he has now been ruled out ruled out of the game um and jack conklin is uh questionable for the cowboys game so there you have it we've got the early uh outs and stuff for the game right now and that's where we're sitting we will be live streaming tonight nine o'clock eastern right here on the joe boo sports report we'll be watching the eagles versus the green bay packers man back-to-back -back nights of football then we can catch our breath tomorrow well, it's not really catching our breaths. I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of cleaning up to do here at the uh, man cave and things. But um, <clears throat> we'll be ready. We will definitely be ready for some football. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys. And I will see you real soon. Boy, I got stuff all over. I got holes in the, you know, I had to spackle some holes in the wall. I had to hook up a dishwasher today because the old one died. And now I got to clean up the outside. Man, he, the work never ends here. But come Sunday, my guest, they'll never know how much work went into me getting this place back together. But hey, hopefully they'll appreciate a good meal. Peace out.